Let's take you to Nelson Mandela Bay now, where that municipality, uh, the, the drought crisis has reached a critical stage. The city's biggest dam, it's called the Imbofu Dam, has just been decommissioned. Residents and businesses have started experiencing intermittent uh, water supply. Today, the Nelson Mandela Bay Municipality Councillors will be making a pledge to drastically reduce water consumption. Here's from Africa, Siposetu Boy, uh, joining us now for a quick discussion. Siposetu, uh, it's a terrible situation that the people of uh, Babeja uh, face, and in particular, that a dam has now had to be decommissioned. What does this mean? Uh, for this dam and indeed the community as a whole. And not only, you know, what this means basically for the community first, it then means that they have to find other alternatives as far as getting water is concerned. I know areas like Fairview have been without water for a good solid three days now, which then means that they solely rely on the water trucks from the municipality to be dispatched to those areas like Central, uh, Motherwell as well. And of course, I know warmer Millgoods areas have also been experiencing some water shedding. And you find that at certain times um, from perhaps to, to, to 8 p.m. you don't have water, then it means that you'll only be able to access water from your tap from around 10 p.m. until 12 a.m., which is quite difficult for people with families. Then that means that they'll have to find other alternatives, meaning that they'll have to go to water tanks and refill 20-liter uh, bottles and also uh, uh, buckets to get water. Some even say that they had to buy water to, for consumption inside the house, which then also means that, of course, now more expenses are going to be used by the residents and businesses of Nelson Mandela Bay for this will have a detrimental effect to their businesses and also to schools. I'm joined now by Water Distribution Director Mr. Joseph Tatser who will speak to us clearly with regards to the 20 water trucks of course that was uh, given to the municipality Mr. Tatser. Please speak to us about how uh, these 20 more additional trucks will be dispatched in and around the area of Abekh. Thank you very much. Thank you for the opportunity. As you have actually alluded in the introduction, that we are suffering in our water disruption and intermittent supply to the western sides of the city. Plus or minus, you know, 500 people are actually affected. And as part of the ministerial intervention, you know, the Department of Water and Sanitation has actually procured, you know, water trucks for us. Twenty of them arrived yesterday and they were inspected and quickly dispatch you know, the areas that are being you know, compromised from a water provision point of view. And I think um, we're going to continue to use um, the Department of Water and Sanitation and all stakeholders to ensure that we continue to provide basic uh, water to our consumers. So well, let just ask a question with regards to the issue of the dam. What then means for the Imbofu Dam that now water cannot uh, get access to that particular dam to get to some of the residents of Nelson Mandela Bay? How does then this affect businesses, including residents of Kabeha? You know, as I've pointed out, that we have got a deficit currently in the system because, you know, of the decommissioning of Imbofu Dam. And I think we have got Churchill Dam as well, which we're going to actually reduce consumption from there. That means that, you know, we're going to actually intensify, you know, water disruption as well as intermittent supply in the city. It means most of the people, ordinary people, business, as well as, you know, institutions, are going to actually suffer, you know, disruptions in terms of this. But again, as a municipality, we've got a continuity plan to ensure that, you know, at least we provide basic services to our consumers. I know that there has been meetings that have been held in and around the areas of Kabecha. Uh, there was one that was held in Summerstrand, another one in Nongoza, which I stand to be corrected. And also schools have been uh, the contributing factors as far as the water usage uh, is concerned. We know that, of course, the consumption, the water consumption now has been limited to the 280 to 230. Mr. Zadzir, please speak to us about, of course, the plans of the municipality to try and get the message across, but also to find alternatives for these residents, including school children, because we know in schools, Water is one uh, aspect that they really need, as of course the environment and the weather in Kabecha is quite hot. So I think the municipality has actually identified what we call the red zone. Uh, you know, these are areas that are immediately um, affected, you know, by the, um, you know, depleting of, you know, the w w Western dams. We have actually arranged, you know, public meetings in those. 
to ensure that you know we create the necessary awareness talk to our consumers you know that we are no longer able to provide you know sufficient water for them and the mode of you know uh, provision is going to be through water trucks it's not going to be th through the conventional way of providing you know piped water and i think those are the meetings that continue um, we are mobilizing you know resources to ensure that you know we communicate to each and every consumer as well as business people that you know we are actually at crisis point and I think we need to reduce our consumption. Mr. Fazir, one last word you'd like to say to residents of Nelson Mandela Bay, including business owners who have the potential of wanting to come to Kabeha and invest. Uh, how's the situation looking uh, at the moment? We know it's critical, but do you think that the message across the metro is quite stern to uh, also alert the residents, including business owners, of how bad the situation currently is? Look, we continue to urge you know, um, residents, consumers, business to use water sparingly, but I think as part of our continuity plan, we have actually prioritized you know, that business um, um, uh, consumption does not um, 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 get to be disrupted you know, severely. I think as part of the emergency continuity plan, we're going to be targeting most of the residential consumers to ensure that at least we provide in basic consumption, but water for economic production will still remain you know, in our taps. Water Distribution Director Oli, Mr. Joseph Tzatzir, thank you very much, sir, for your time. And, of course, Oli, later on, uh, we do know that the councillors will be making that pledge. It was scheduled to start now in the morning, but it seems as though the council meeting is more urgent uh, as far as this uh, item is concerned, so it will be moved to this afternoon where all the councillors of the Metro will be pledging to their residents of their wards, specifically speaking to them about the issue of water scarcity and how they set to move in and around those areas, making sure this, that these 20 water trucks will be dispatched to their areas, making it easy for them to access water at this difficult time. We do know, Koli, that the municipality has also been advised that by the end of July, if the water, uh, if there's no significant rain, rather, that pours to the metro, the situation could be dire to an extent that the city could be without water. Siposeto Boy, thank you very much for that update. Uh, it is a worrying situation in Nelson Mandela Bay. All right.